In this video, we are going to discuss about interstellar hype dust hypothesis, which was put forward by Otto Smith in 1943, who was a Russian scientist. So, this theory had a greater advantage because this theory solved many, uh, many problems of creation of our solar system and our planets. So, what were the assumptions were put forward by this by theory? Solar system formed from the dust and gas particles as there were dust and gas particles were there. These particles might have been formed from the matter which is coming out of the star. So, the, from the star, the matter which is coming, so this is a star, the matter which was coming out of these particles which were called as dark matter. Our sun during the galactic revolution captured, during the galactic revolution captured the dark matter of the universe. The sun was going through a gag, it was going through a galactic revolution during that time this captured this dark matter. Dark, dark matter of the universe and they had their own angular momentum. So already this dark matter had their own angular momentum. This dark matter were called the interstellar dust. Gas particles were less and dust particles were more and these because these dust particles were more in number and they were systematically arranged also because the gas particle particles were in less density and dust particles were in more higher density so it was capable for the dust particles to arrange systematically dark matter started revolving around the sun with the impact of three kinds of motion they were rotational motion of the sun and gravitational force exerted by the sun on the dark matter and the angular momentum of the dark matter these motions led to redistribution of particles so because of this mo motion these gas particles gas gas particle gas particles and dust particles got redistributed among themselves depending upon the mass density dimension and on the basis of centrifugal and centripetal force because the mass of the particles varied 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 to one particle of a gas particles between the gas particles and the dust particles the centrifugal force pushed away from the sun the centripetal force which pushed towards the sun so because of that they could rearrange themselves and the intense heat of the sun dispersed the gaseous particles towards the margin and heavy particles were left in the inner bands of the disk because the gaseous particles were in less uh, which were which were in less density as well as it was light also so they were pushed away from the sun and they were in the outer margins and the and the particles which were dust particles which were heavy particles they were uh, with high density and the uh, high mass was more and so that they could uh, they were in the center of the disk so this is the disk here the gas particles were arranged gas particles were arranged but the inner circle dust particles were arranged collision led to aggregation aggregation of particles which became embryos of the future planet so these particles started colliding among themselves and they led to creation of embryos a small small embryos and they later aggregated later aggregation this continuous aggregation of these dust particles led to formation of big planets gas particles couldn't organize as they were moving continuously initially embryos captured matter and grew in the size to become asteroids and later grew into planets so this is one of the drawback of this theory so because many uh, many 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 scholars say criticize this assumption because they thought the asteroids and meteors were formed from the disintegration of planets and not from those not um, not the planets were formed from the embryos not from the not the planets formed from the asteroids and meteors left out matter in the disk were condensed to form satellites inner planets were of high density and outer planets were of lower density so this uh, actually the present day planet solar system has the inner planets the terrestrial planets with higher density the outer planets with less density so this and uh, outer planets were formed by the freezing out process of the gaseous matter 
because they were light in uh, light in light they were the gases particles were light so they were pushed towards the margins of the disk and they were after the freezing out process these gases matter outer planets were formed evaluation of this theory this theory solves all the problems about the features of the solar system but some scholars but what are the actually what are the earlier problems it solves are near circular and similar of the solar system similar planets of orbits of the planets so it's somewhat circular in shape the solar system somewhat in circular near circular in shape and those planets of the these orbits and evolution in the equatorial plan of the sun closely matching with the orbital planes of the planets then placement of planets according to their size on the basis of well founded laws and high density planets in the outer so high density planets were in the outer circle of the solar system why high dense then large and peculiar distribution of angular momentum among the planets of solar system so these these problems were solved by this theory but there are some flaws actually because uh, later scientists couldn't accept this uh, assumption few assumptions of these theories were the gravitational force of the primitive sun was incapable of capturing the dark matter of the universe and meteorites and asteroids were formed from disintegration of planets and this and this theory postulates assumption this theory gives assumption as these planets were formed by integration of asteroids initially they say that asteroids formed asteroids and meteorites formed and they aggregated some dust particles towards them the, then they let they led to formation of planets but present day scientists say that meteorites and asteroids were formed from disintegration of planets and no trace of remnants of dark matter couldn't be found till date so these are the some critics given to this theory but this theory solves major major problems of this origin of solar